Welcome back to more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, everybody. So in the last episode, we ended at the Cycling Road. I went ahead and came up here and healed my team up. Um, and one thing I f figured out is that now you actually can go back. So I'm not sure what the trigger is for being able to backtrack, but I think it has to just do with like going into the Cycling Road at least once or something like that, possibly. I don't know. The point is, it, it now works. Okay, I can go back and do the things I wanted to do. So there's a couple things. The very first thing is actually, you know what, I'll go over here first. Because there's like three things we can do that require cut. So the very first one is right here. We can just simply cut one of these uh, things down. Actually, wait, I should have bought, oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Oh, I'm such an idiot. <clears throat> so as you know, in the last episode, when I, you know, went into the, the cave, I ended up using pretty much all of my repels. And it's going to be very important to get some more. Yes, I don't think you actually sell super repels yet, which sucks, but yeah, no, I just gotta use these. I'm gonna get like, I'm gonna get 22. I don't know why I chose such a weird number. Oh, also, how many escape ropes do I have? I have two. I'll buy like one more just to have three. Might be useful. Saves a lot of time in dungeons and stuff. I don't know how many more we're gonna get, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use a fair amount of them. Um, anyway, let's actually go now. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna start with the old chateau, which is pretty much right there where we're going. These cut trees. Okay, so this area here is, um, oh, why did I do that? I don't know. I accidentally <laughs> got out of the thing. Um, this area is... I don't know, there's no trainers in here. I know that for a fact, but there's a lot of items you can get. I think there's only one. Yeah, seems like it. I do remember that specifically. Got another, I think it's right up here. Insect plate. Yes, this is the generation where all these plates can be found. Uh, they all serve as the regular hold items. Like insect plate is the same as uh, you know, the, what's it called, the powder thing, the, oh my god, I, I can't even think right now, Jesus, you know what I mean. It ups the power of that type of move by 20%, that is incredibly creepy. That does happen sometimes in this old chateau, I, I do remember that, which is very strange, uh, that you see ghosts and stuff walking around, like, oh my god, that's creepy, because there's like three different instances where you can find that stuff. We got an antidote here. Um, is there anything else over here, though? Actually, there's not. I wasn't sure if there was, but it doesn't seem like it. No. Alright. But yeah, this place is basically just for getting items. Uh, there's a statue here. I'm not sure what... That does anything. It appears as if it's glaring. Oh, wow. Okay, we're gonna go in this room. Here's an item. Old Gateau. It's a very nice treat. Um, it also appeared in the anime, I remember, but I think it serves like as a... Is it like a full heal? I think so. It's like the lava cookies, I'm pretty sure. Stuff like that, you know? There's a dread plate. Okay. Um, is that ghost? I believe that's ghost. Which one is dark? Oh, crap, I'm forgetting. Because they always sound similar to me. I mean, really, those types are very similar. Oddly malevolent feel. Hmm. Well then. Alright, time to use another one. Yes, of course, of course. Trash can is empty. So there's nothing in this one. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in this one either. Nope. There is an item over there though. We're gonna go ahead and take that one. TM90 Substitute. That is a great move uh, for competitive Pokemon. Alright, let's get out of here. So, there's only one room left to explore, and that's going to be to the right side over here, this way. And there's actually nothing in here. Yeah, there definitely isn't. 
that's it. So the big thing here is TM90 substitute, and if you also want the old ghetto, it doesn't have any purpose. Um, you can use it or you can keep it in your inventory, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. But yeah, um, so that's it for that. Now it's time to, because there's nothing else there, so I'm just going to have to cut through uh, from this side. So these trees here are the next thing that's going to take us to a couple more items that we can get. Which is nice, of course. Uh, no, we're not going to use another one. Alright, so here we got some berries. Are those trainers? Those are not trainers. There were no trainers in here. At least I'm pretty sure they're not. Who knows, really? Who knows? These here are two raspberries. And the two on the right that look like Oran. Yeah. I know my berries by how they look. I got I got them kind of memorized. Oh my god, my... Oh, jeez, my freaking blanket is stuck in that. There we go. Yeah, I'm actually sitting on a blanket right now because my chair is all leather and it's super cold right now. Castle decoration. Ooh, three leaf stickers V. Oh, cool. Alright, so... Okay, so that's the way out. But this over here at least a couple more items. Silver powder. That's what I was trying to say. Jeez. I was saying something powder. I don't know why I drew a complete blank. And then we got TM82 Sleep Talk. Okay. So now we're going to go to the left and just kind of go down here. So I could turn back, but there's also there's a still another um, item we can get. And I guess I'd rather, you know get the item now. It's going to involve going through some grass probably. Which is not good. Do I, do I care? Oh man. I, I could have used the repel I know but... Eh. Should I just attack it? Sure we're going to get like no experience from this but <clears throat> it's fine. There we go. Bidoof is down. I think their encounter rate actually increases when you are- Oh my god! When you're on the bike, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong about that, I'm not entirely sure. That's a sh- Oh, Shellos up here. The Shellos is actually pretty cool. Gastrodon is a uh, water ground, which, in my opinion, it's actually a really good type. It only has one weakness being grass. Yes, it's a times four weakness, but that's why people like love Marsh Tom. You know, like in Generation 3, because that typing is good. I think more people would like Quagsire if it actually had better stats. The one big problem with Quagsire is its stats are pretty terrible, if I'm being honest. Like, pretty bad. But if it had decent ones, like Swampert... Um... I don't know why I said Marsh Tom the first time. Whatever, you know what I mean. But, oh my god. Oh, I actually managed to get through it. Okay. This is the other country I was talking about. We want to get through this so we can get another item right now. Trainer school, okay. I want you to have these TMs. TM78. When you get Snarlight, you win some bit. It's the same for Pokemon. The move Snarl lowers the target's special attack, or special attack for short. You also probably know this, but a TM is good for only one use. Choose a Pokemon wisely if you decide to use it. Yep. And there we go. Alright, so we've done everything we, um, we wanted to. Now it's time to go all the way back. So we're going to just go through here really fast. This time I am going to go ahead and use a, uh, a repel. And I'll see if I have to use another one. I don't think I do. I can just cut straight through. I'm pretty sure like this. Just trying to get through all the grass, you know. Yep, there we go. That's all I needed to do. And say no. Alright, so. With that, it's finally time to move on. Yes, finally. Because we've done everything we can in terms of cut trees as of now, I believe so. Uh, we got the one... Um, yeah, we got the one in the town over here. Alright, so... Yeah, we did all those, we went to the right. That's all taken care of, that's good. 
So we're actually going to explore the route over here on the right side. This one. Um, I think by this one it's going to start using more repels in areas like... I don't really need to be facing wild encounters, you know? There's a Pokeball. I think that's a trainer over here. Yeah, it's those ninja boys that they uh, camouflage. Zub I hope you have Zubat, because I got Magnemite in the front. Ninja Boy Zack. It is a Zubat, alright. Well, well then. So it's level 13. Yeah, these levels are really low, as you can see. I'll be able to make quick work of these. I wonder when I'm going to get a different move, though. With Magnemite. A different electric move. Because this one has some pretty decent power, but only has 10 PP. Even something like Shockwave might be more useful, you know? It depends, though, because it's hard to know how much um, power Electro Ball is actually having. Now one more, another Zubat. That's easy enough. Three Zubats, three Electro Balls. Alright, pretty pathetic experience, but it's all good. Moving on to, alright, over here. I don't think there's anything... Let me just make sure here. Nope. As I thought, okay, here we got a hiker. This is going to be very important to switch into. I think Psyduck is the one to go to. Hello, hiker. And there's another person over there. I believe that's a bird keeper. So then we can switch back into Magnemite. Hiker Lewis. Geodude. Yeah, Magnemite is going to have the capability of facing against these um, rock ground Pokemon once it learns the Steel type move that is special. Because, like, I, yes, I could have used Gyro Ball, but the thing is, Geodude is also slow, so the power wouldn't have been crazy. And it's physical. Geodude has a massive defense stat. Like, that would not have done anything. You know? Level up for Magnemite. Okay. Screech. Um. No. I don't know why Magnemite knows Screech. It's a special attack user. What is the point of lowering the opponent's defense if you're using special attacks? Whatever. Water Pulse time. We will have sturdy. Yes! I love it when Onyx does, does have sturdy. And Geodude. This time you gain a level, okay. It's pretty good. Alright. Um, you know what? I'll just keep Psyduck in the front. <clears throat> I think it's fine. Hello, Bird Keeper. Look at these beautiful wings. Bird Keeper Alexandra. Oh, it's a Hoot Hoot. That's the first Hoot Hoot we've seen, huh? I believe so. Hoot Hoot actually has a high special defense stat. So this is probably not going to do a whole lot of damage. We'll see. I mean, it should do a pretty good amount. I mean, But yeah, see? Only half. Peck. I always remember that Noctowl is pretty freaking tanky when it comes to special uh, defense. Alright, Hoot Hoot is down. Ooh, so close to a level up. And Birdkeeper Alexandra has been defeated. I'm going to peck you for that? What? Is that supposed to be an insult? Wait, what? Oh. No, no, sorry. It's because I thought there was also going to be another item. Let me actually check. No, there's not. Alright, never mind. Never mind. So that's Taunt. That's cool. We're going to go in here. Because I think I can explore this first um, area, but I can't really do all that much here in Mount Coronet. Um, here's a revive. Awesome. I think that's our first revive, actually. Pretty sure. Okay, so I can't move that boulder. I need strength for that. 
And I can't do that either. Alright, our journey's done. <laughs> we gotta revive at least. But that's exactly what I was saying, that that's actually a, um, a dead end pretty much right away. You can fight a couple trainers, which is nice, but aside from that, there's not a whole lot you can do there, you know? Okay, so now we're gonna go down all the way. And we have to cut through the um, cycling road again, and this time make a right side, or a right on the, oh my god, a right on the lower side. I don't know why I said it on the right side. Oh wow, it's a perfect straight shot. I didn't bump into anybody. Okay, so left has been explored. Um, you already know about that up there. I already did that. Down here, got the berries. That takes us back to Orber City if you want to go back there. Cool. Alright, and we got some trainers here. Really? You wear shorts the whole year, huh? Must be nice. Youngster Austin. Austin sent out Starling. Okay, so Starling should be fairly easy to, you know, defeat. It's only level 15, so... There we go. Side that gains a level, alright. Geodude. It's actually kind of nice because uh, most Geodudes have not had Sturdy in this playthrough, I've noticed. Onyx has been more 50-50 split though. Chimchar. It's level 18 Chimchar. Now, well, Psyduck made uh, quick work of all of them. It's pretty awesome. Hmm. I mean... There's nothing wrong with that, dude. Energy. Let's be quick about this. Okay, just you see those things over there on the right side? Those are rock climb segments. We're not going to be getting rock climb until much later in the game as well. Meditate. This one is a fighting psychic. Um, all I can really keep doing is using water pulse. Don't really have a choice here. Metatite's, um, I don't know if that's gonna, is that gonna defeat you? Nope, I kinda knew it, I kinda knew it. Loki, that's not gonna do too much, you know. Side deck is not exactly heavy, you know. There we go, Metatite down. And next up on the list is, ooh, Ponytail at level 19. It's a Machop. Okay, so for you it's better to use Confusion, that's 10 power stronger. Again, 50 times 2 is 100. Water Pulse 60 stabbed is 90. Okay, that means Water Pulse will not have killed it either. Leer. Okay. We'll just uh, we'll keep, we'll do Confusion again, because um, I gotta preserve my Water Pulse PP, you know? And there we go, my chop is down. And Battle Girl Helen has been defeated. Another battle. Yeah, you are out of Pokemon. We can't do another battle right now. You gotta you gotta go heal them up. Alright, so this over here was for oh my god, another trainer. Jeez. I think there's an item on the on the left side right there. You'll see. You'll see in a bit. Four Pokemon? Oh my god. Do you have four Geodudes? Well that's gonna be four more water pulses. This battle's gonna be super straightforward and pretty repetitive. That's what happens against all these damn hikers, though, you know? <laughs> like, seriously. But, that's also partially the reason why I set it to uh, set the option instead of shift. Because, aside from, you know, wanting a slightly bigger challenge, you know? Um, I also want it to go faster, and it saves you time, you know, by not, um... By not actually having to always mash through that text of, would you like to switch Pokemon? I'm like, no. I do not want to. Zubat. Oh, you actually don't have four Geodudes. Alright. Uh, we're going to use Confusion on this one.
Does Psyduck learn Psybeam? I actually don't know. Hmm. And then we got another Geodude. Um, what's interesting is I believe Confusion would still be able to um, knock it out in one. Geodude's special offense is just so low. I don't know. Ooh, we're close to level ups for both Staravia and Grottle. Alright, another hiker now. Okay, let me explore the left here. I believe there's an item here. I knew it. I freaking knew it. It's a rare candy. Alright. That's a dire hit. I will take that. Alright, so we're done with this part here. Um, I think I can just go from this side instead. Another hiker. Just got through Mount Coronet. Oh, okay, so you came from the other side, I see. Alright, alright. Hiker Justin. So pretty much, you know, more of the same stuff. More or less, right? More Geodudes. That's why having Zydek is good here. By the way, Gen 4 is one of the gens where I actually like all three starters. Like, I, I'm saying that right because I thought about Empoleon just now, or, you know, having Piplup. I was considering it, but I like all three. I like, I like Torterra a lot. Good physical attacker, very, very tanky, you know, I, I do like that. Good Earthquake user and later can learn pretty powerful grass attacks too. Eventually, like I know in the original Diamond 4, you could teach it Woodhammer, which is awesome. But, yeah, then, you know, Infernape, I mean, who doesn't love Infernape, right? It's a fighting fire type, can learn really powerful stuff like Close Combat and Flare Blitz. Amazing. It actually works as both a physical attacker and a special attacker as well. Both of its stats are pretty up there. It's also pretty fast. And then, and then there's Empoleon, which is a water-steel, a very unique combination. Um, but it can learn stuff like Surf and Flash Cannon, you know? Um, that's pretty awesome. But, yeah, I just I just want to mention that because it is actually... It, it's a good generation for choosing your starters. Other other generations, like, I don't know. A lot of people hate the Gen 5 starters, which, you know, I would probably agree. I'm not the biggest fan of them. Um, they're not that great, if I'm being honest. But it's whatever, right? Okay, um... We're gonna do a water pulse on the Ponyta. I think I have to do quick attack on the Pachiri, so I don't really have a choice here on what to do. They didn't even do half. Wow. Flame charge. That's gonna up your speed. I mean, oh my god. That's all it did? Seriously? Wow, Pachiri just sucks on that. That did nothing. That did nothing, and that's stab times two. Alright, who's next? Oh, that's it? Okay, uh, Water Pulse. I mean, do I really need to, uh... Actually, I should, because I don't know if a Water Pulse would kill it. I'm pretty sure it would. But... Oh, my God. oh wait, now you did it on... Okay. I didn't even think about that. Both time I Pokemon are weak to Electric, that's funny. That series is pretty weak, though. That did nothing to either Pokemon. 402 experience. Wow, that's a lot of experience. Oh, we lost. Yes, you did. You both said the same exact thing. Alright, well anyway, that goes back this way, as you know, so that's it. that's it for that side. I don't think there's anything in here. No, there's not. Let's go. It's the only way to actually progress. We have to go through Mount Coronet specifically from this uh, way. Anything there? No. Okay, we're gonna go to use an, a repel here. Let's see. I know there's going to be... Dude, I swear to God there's something here. What? There's not? Alright. Okay. Oh, I know. That one up there has one. According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world. A world where only time flood and space expanded. There should have been no strife. 
But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. This world is being ruined by it. I find this state of things to be deplorable. The hell? That was so random. They're like, who's that guy? Okay, it's not that one. It's, um, this one. Yes. You found another. Okay, so I think the exit is directly to the right. Wait, but there's like nothing... What the hell is over here? Let's see. I think they both lead to the same thing. Yeah, they do. I can't get the thing up there. Okay, well, let's, have, let's do this here. I'm a little suspicious about stuff here. It just served as a shortcut. Like, that was it. What the hell? Fine, let's get out. And we are on the other side, just like that. Another one? Uh, no. Okay, there's a rock climb section up there. Another hiker, are you serious? Why are there so many hikers? Psyduck is getting a lot of action in here. Seriously. Alright, water pulse. Let me guess, your next Pokemon is a Geodude. Agility. Um, we're gonna keep old moves. I've... Agility to me has always been one of the weirdest moves ever. Um, mainly because, like... How do I explain this? Like... Not the fact that it, like, ups speed by two, because there's other moves like that, like Rock Polish, you know? But the difference is that, like... Pokemon like Geodude learn Rock Polish, a slow Pokemon. To me, it makes sense why you want a rock polish, because you want to up that slow speed, you know? But Pokemon who learn agility, like 99% of Pokemon that learn agility are already like really fast. And so, I always feel like, who the heck would actually ever use agility? Like, if I'm a Rapidash user, why would I use agility? I'm already fast, you know? And like, I don't know. It's kind of strange. Oh, it's a Machop. Alright. How much Water Pulse do I have left, by the way? Two. Okay, that's important to know. And this episode has been, like, almost all Psyduck. Except in the beginning, I had a Magnemite for a bit. But Psyduck is actually doing a really good job. He's, uh, sweeping through everything. Oh, that's it? That's all you had? I still like power. Why, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Okay, that's a rock climb section there on the left. We can't do much about that. We're going to have to just uh, retreat like this way. And now go on the right side. There's another trainer down there. Another hiker. Oh my god, game. You put way too many hikers. I never even realized that when I played the original Diamond and Pearl. We fought like freaking six hikers in the past ten minutes. Alright, we got another Onyx here. So, by using this Water Pulse, I'll be down to 1 PP. Alright, and then we can just use Confusion here. I've only used 5 Confusion. Wow. There we go. Hiker Jonathan. Okay. That better be the last hiker for a while. Seriously. This is getting a little ridiculous. Um, I don't think there's an item down there despite it looking like there is one, but there's not. Over here we got an item. That is a Pokeball. I don't know why the hell they put a Pokeball here. That looks very underpowered for putting it this far into the game and hidden behind Rock Smash stuff. I don't know. Kind of weird. I've already used 10 repel. That's, that's a little insane. Um, I don't know if... Yeah, there is something there. A jar of honey. Alright, um... Don't say a word. Just take it. You obtain an odd keystone. Alright. 
You and I, let us create a scene, a fantastic tableau of battle. Oh, you're actually a Pokemon trainer. What the hell? Artist William. Sure. We got a Mime Junior here. So here's the thing, if this Water Pulse doesn't actually um, defeat you, it's going to be kind of awkward to try and get you <laughs> all the way down. Yeah, oh man. Mr. Mime has a good- oh, you do have a good special defense, I just realized. Damn it. A copycat. Use Water Pulse. Don't confuse me, please. Okay, we're going to see how much this does. Probably nothing. It's not going to kill you. This is 25 base power. Oh, it actually did. Okay. If you have another Mime Junior, I'm going to have to switch out, though. Mew level 25. It's a Bonsley. Okay. I'm good, then. Bonsley has a low special defense stat. This is not going to one-shot you, but I think I can two-shot you. Yeah. Mimic. You're just... Copying what? A, okay. Oh, that one just learns it. It's not like okay. I see. There we go. All right. So with that, uh, Psyduck is officially done for now. I burned through all of his 25 water pulls PP. That is crazy. I used him way too much. All right. Now we're going to um, put. Should I put Magnemite? Sure. I'm putting these because they're lower level. I mean, Psyduck pretty much caught up, finally, but... And then Ponyta, I haven't used Ponyta yet because I want to get a little bit more, you know, just a few more levels. Combi. That's perfect for me. That's a flyer. That's a bug flying. Alright, Electro Ball. Should be able to take care of these pretty easily. I don't know who your next Pokemon is, but we'll see. Level 25 for Magnemite. Special attack is up to 60 now. Roselia. Okay. So, I actually think Electro Ball will still do more damage than Gyro Ball. We're going to try this. Eh. I mean... Magic, yeah, it's not gonna do anything. I guess we can try Gyro Ball, but... Like, it's it's neutral, it is stabbed, but it's physical. Yeah, I was actually right, Electro Ball did do more damage, and now I'm not gonna be able to kill you in three hits. If I just did three Electro Balls, that would have been three hits, but... I knew it, I knew I was right about that. At least I'm tanky though with this, um, all you have is Magical Leaf, and you probably have a Poison type attack, but that doesn't even affect Magnemite, being a Steel type. And that's it. There we go. I was beaten, yes I do. And that I believe takes care of all the trainers here in this route. Two Nana Berries, I'll gladly take that, sure. Two blackberries. Two pineapple berries. And lastly, two raspberries. Now we're gonna go in this building and see what we find. Oh, the berry master. Okay, so I think you just get a free berry per day from the berry master, which is nice. We got a blackberry. Uh, yes, I'm the forgetful type. I actually am not, but... Wait, what? Oh. Would you like some berries? Um, oh, I can... Oh, damn, I can buy the berries here? That's cool. Would you like to use another one? No. Alright, well, let's uh, make our way cause, uh, out of here, because we are done. We are done with this place. That's if you say hard home today, I only said it. Super contest shows. Oh no, it's those contest things, huh? I forgot about that. That's a big thing in this game. In Hard Home City.
It's a Baneary. Whoever even knows how far my Baneary could have run, really? Baby Baneary, back in the Pokeball you go. I'm Kira, I'm a super contest show judge. Please drop by the contest hall so I can thank you properly. Whoa. Okay. Let's go down here first, just because I want to show you that this area is actually blocked off right now. Because uh, of these people doing some interview thing or whatever, I don't know. They're just blocking. Can't go there yet, that's the game's way of blocking you from going that way. So we are going to explore Hard Home City. Are you dancing? I guess you are. You're a trainer, aren't you? You've got two choices. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm choosing the gym route. I'm just saying. Hi, hi. Do you want a Pokemon egg? You find this at the... Oh, okay. Want to take it? Sure. Are you serious? Okay. So, well, I'm going to have to temporarily get rid of... Someone. Oh, wait, wait. You can just do it like this. I forgot about that. This game does have that feature. Um, Who do I put back? Mew? I mean, I haven't really been... I haven't used Mew at all. Even though uh, there were more of you that voted for Mew. Um, but what the hell? It's kind of cool you can just do it like this on the spot. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, do I even want to hatch this damn egg? I mean, it is a let's play. I guess I should show it off, right? I guess that official means I'm not going to be using Mew. I mean, that was a vote. Again, that was an if. That was an if I even use any of them. I was only going to use one. But I guess maybe I shouldn't, because later in the game I'm going to get Dialga, Dialga anyway. And like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, because if I keep the egg, that's going to definitely make me fall behind once the egg has hatched. Which is, you know, I think it's better without legendaries anyway. At least until I get Dialga, the mascot of the game, you know, which I'll definitely show off. But the game is already easy enough, you know. Uh, no. Yeah, you should mind your own business. Pokemon Fan Club. Alright, let me talk to some people here, like you. Hello, hello! Uh huh. Oh, you're the chairman. Feed Poppins? Sweet Poppins, what came out? Oh, okay, I see. Therefore, I declare this Poppin case to be given from me to you. You obtained the Poffin case. Yeah, that's to up the, um. Like. Not stats, but what do you call them? I guess it's like contest stats, like cute, you know, like all beauty, like all those different things, if you remember. Um, okay, well, everything at the bottom is done. I um, guess we'll just go into here. We are running out of time for this episode, though, so I do need to be mindful of that. I'll just talk to people here, and then that's going to be it. Okay, cool. Captivate the world. Okay, there's nothing there. Wait, are there no stairs? What kind of building has no stairs? This is super dangerous in the case of an earthquake or anything. How the hell would people get from the top to the bottom if the, if the elevator is ever out of commission? Or even in general, just if it doesn't work, because elevators technology, staircases or not. What the hell? Isn't that so strange? Let's get out of this building. This, this building is freaking scary. I do not even want to think about ever being in a building that has more than one floor, that has no stairs. That is so dangerous. My god. Alright, let's get out of here. Um, I guess I can end it here. Alright. So before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.